All right, the assignment was to uh, basically create a space that had an entry and an exit, and none of those entries or exits could be a, a hole through a wall, just a punched opening. It had to be a sort of you know slippage of space or something like that. So um, this is like the simplest solution ever for the, for the prompt that you were given. So basically it's a room with an entry on the left that's just a slip in the wall, um, an exit on the right, that's another slip in the wall. And then I mentioned that the floor had to have two separate levels, and I think that was confusing. It wasn't two stories, but two separate floor levels um, that was meant to frame the space. And it was supposed to have um, a 20 by 20 area roughly centered in the space. So um, my solution basically looked like this. Um, and it was basically a tiny little L that was kind of breaking into what would otherwise just be a square room. Um, and then frame out the 20 by 20 area roughly in the center by utilizing the step in the floor at the entry and exit. That's basically it. <coughs> so um, you don't need to take it too much further. Um, I know uh, Cloud had a question the end of class last week and I was really happy he asked it because he said how thick does the roof need to be and well the truth is it doesn't need to be thick at all because really this is a rendering class right um, so this is an important thing that you guys need to know okay and it's your first intro into pretty much like what's gonna make you successful for the rest of the semester okay you must pick and choose where you model Okay, it's a little bit different in this class being a representation class because the models that you're that you're making will be sort of half finished. Okay, because all we care about is that product, the rendering, whatever image we're going to create off of this model. And so therefore, where I have my camera here, theoretically, I could take I could take a line and just cut off the back side of this model and and it wouldn't matter. If that whole corner of my model was missing, it wouldn't matter at all because you don't see it in the rendering. Okay, so that's a, that's a very important sort of different thing um, that you guys will have to get used to, okay? So what does that mean for us? It means what we're gonna do is jump into our models like this and storyboard, okay? So we're gonna basically plan for all of our products that we're gonna be generating ahead of time. That way, you're not wasting time on details that don't really need to be there, like how thick the roof should be. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so anyway, you can see here it's really just a flat plate. There's an entry there, there's an entry or an exit here, and you can't see anything else except for those things. Okay, so anyway, um, that's, that's sort of my debriefing explanation. Uh, I hope you guys didn't have too much trouble and I hope you took my advice and you went a little bit simpler um, after you know I saw some of you struggling with trying to make the design a little more complicated than it needed to be. Are there any questions? Yes? Yes. Uh, yeah so uh, that's as of yet sort of undefined until we get to the lighting stage we're going to actually define what that is which should be next week or the week after but um yeah it, right now just like a you know spire in the middle a little tower you know about the size of a human being would be fine okay any other questions all right let's move on <laughs>